Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. The prayer today for our nation, ruler of all men, we thank and praise you for permitting a federation of peoples to grow into a nation within our borders. We thank and praise you that you enabled this nation to survive armed conflicts, cold wars, threats and rumors of war, and the uncertainties of life in this nuclear age. We pray you to make this nation a, ha a haven for refugees, for the persecuted, and for displaced. We pray that you would urge men in our nation to pursue always and search for human freedoms. We pray you to stimulate the leaders of our nation to regulate our government, that it will offer hope of freedom for all who swear allegiance to it. We pray you to forgive our sins of pride, bigotry, lawlessness, indifference, and license. Forgive us for our waste of natural and human resources, for the neglect of our own rights and the rights of others. Enable us to conduct ourselves honorably as citizens and to main manage the affairs of government sensibly. Permit us, permit this nation to prosper and to fulfill your pr purpose to the good of, our man of mankind. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus, God's people said, Amen. Today, we have a, a writing from John Cassian. He was a 4th and 5th century uh, Christian Catholic. The only, there was only one Christian church in the 4th and 5th century. Um, an ascetic, someone who eschewed things of, of wealth and uh, those sorts of things. He writes, St. Paul writes to the church in Corinth, the Jews seek signs, and the Greeks ask for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews, a stumbling block to the Gentiles, foolishness. But to them who are saved, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God, says Paul, though, though it not thought it not enough to speak of Christ as God without adding that he was crucified. He spoke this way for the sake of the open and solid teaching of the faith that Christ, whom he called the crucified, is the wisdom of God. Nor did he blush at the mention of the cross of Christ when he preached the gospel of the Lord. And though it was a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles to hear of God as born, God as bodily formed, God suffering, God crucified, yet he did not weaken the force of his pious utterance because of the wickedness of the offense of the Jews, nor did it lessen the vigor of his faith because of the unbelief or foolishness of others. Rather, he openly, persistently, and boldly proclaimed that he whom a mother had born, whom men had slain, the spear had pierced, the cross had stretched, was the power and the wisdom of God to the Jews a stumbling block, and to the Gentiles foolishness. But still, that which was to some a stumbling block and foolishness was to others the power and wisdom of God. Thus the words of John Cassian. Our prayer for today. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have commanded us to pray and have promised to hear us. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may direct and govern our hearts in our in all things that we may preserve persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name through jesus christ your son our lord who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god now and forever and god's people said amen go in peace serve the lord thanks be to god